a consumer of the mental health system? Yes. Do you consider yourself a survivor of the mental health system? Let's say a uh, survivor, yes. So, do you think that you are either at a state of recovery or transitioning into recovery right now? I would say a state of recovery. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, what was your best coping tool? My best coping tool was music. Like, I really like to dance, and I, um, I really just feel like it took me to a different world. Um, it's just a place where I didn't have to deal with, like, my personal life. Cool. Cool. What was your turning point in your recovery? My turning point in my recovery was just being fed up. Like, I was fed up of um, being depressed, being suicidal, uh, not being motivated, like, not being motivated to, like, go to school or go to work. So I just got fed up and I wanted better for myself. How old are you? 23. Cool. So... What the? Where is Here it is. So, what do you do to help support yourself when you feel that you're sort of slipping back in your levels of recovery? Um, something that I do is um, I take a lot of pictures and um, it reminds me of different places um, of where I was at. So, when I feel like I'm going backwards, I look at those photos and um, it shows me where I was. And I also write a lot, so I'm able to read where I was in a different place and then see where I am now. So that's like a really big way to show me that I'm making progress. Who was, who supported you the most in your life? And what was the most helpful thing that they did? Um, I have a mentor and the most helpful thing she did was kind of just show me that everything that you go through um, is for a reason and that um, the experiences you go through are to learn and to teach others and that kind of made me realize that I have a responsibility relating to a traumatic past, so I'm able to use it as something positive. Is your mentor a care professional? No, she's just a friend. Splendid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's some of the best advice that you've been given? Best advice I've been given is to fight for my life. Like, they're going to, you go through a lot of different things and it brings up a lot of different emotions and sometimes there are people that will really try to bring you down and it's just your job to really just fight and just to fight for your life basically was mm -hmm. the best advice I can get. So let's say that you could go back in time and talk with yourself when you were at your lowest, when you felt hopeless, what do you wish you could say to yourself? I would tell myself that um, uh, that the road ahead is, is very beautiful um, and there's a lot of healing. You'll be healed from a lot of things because I know when I was younger I was going through things and I didn't think that it would get better and it has got really better. So this project is the I Got Better project and it's for helping people, um, helping young adults, helping older adults that are in a place of hopelessness. They're suicidal. They're completely lost. Don't even think recovery is possible. What would you like to tell those people? I, I would most definitely tell them to fight for their life and that um, you have to just get really fed up with being miserable and being tired and just get motivated to see what else is out there. Because a lot of times people are just really hopeless and they don't think that there's anything else. I would just tell them to fight to see what else, you know, to see the great things that are going to come out of their life. What, what is your hope for the mental health care system in the future? My hope is for the mental health system to just look at people as humans. Like sometimes we're just like, they're so worried about fixing words and how things should be said and not really just helping a person. Or just, yeah. Go on, continue. Or just, um, just love on people. Because a lot of times we're just trying to do so many things by protocol and they don't even treat people as like they're humans. Cool, cool. Is there anything else you'd like to say?